time, I would like to show you on how to convert your JPEG documents files into one document, which is in PDF format. Using Photoshop, we will use the PDF presentation feature. So let's start. First, open the Photoshop and click the File menu and under the drop down menu, click Automate. On the right side, click PDF Presentation. Under Source Files, you can see on the right bottom, the Browse button, then click it. And locate the JPEG files you want to combine to get a single PDF file. In my case, the JPEG files I want to combine are the homework documents of my kid in order for me to email the combined documents in one file which will be in PDF file to his teacher. Okay, let's do it. I selected the files. Okay, that's it. Open, click open. You can see here, it's not sec sequence or sort out. So we will sort it by name. So you can see here, it's from 1 to 41. Actually, you can drop the truck, uh, drop, or I mean, drag the file up or down like this. See? save and we will save this one homework or the bears save and we will put in the smallest of file size optimized fast web preview compression Okay, I think it's fine. 100 and then the pixels we put here 100, 150 image quality low. Low. So let's see after if it's clear or not. Save PDF. Now it, it's working. I like the Photoshop because you can do a lot of things on this uh, software. So we will locate it here, the better is the event. So we will open it, make it 100, we'll just put 100, 100, not bad, look at that it's clear and let's see the size of the file it's a 3 MB it's fine okay that's it let's compare the Acrobat Pro DC This is also we can create PDF and com uh, combine the files. So here I already did one and I check it's 6.1 MB and the other one that uh, we used um, Adobe Photoshop which is only 3 MB. I think for me I, I will go for Adobe Photoshop because it's quicker to, to convert or combine the files compared to the other uh, the other application which is the acrobat pro dc you can see here which is 6.1 mb and if you will open it it's just the same uh, quality if we will put here 
so you can see the same quality compared to Adobe Photoshop but of course it depends on you if you have um, the other applications so you can use it but in the future if you are in you will be interested to use the Adobe Photoshop so you have already the idea that uh, Photoshop is very powerful in gra uh, graphic designing and also for other things for printing and combining f files and scanning also okay that's for it that's for today and hope you like and you learn from my simple tutorial see you in the next video bye always remember if you have knowledge let others light their candles in it thank you for watching see you in the next video ciao don't forget to like subscribe to our channel comment and share